please begin, uh, Chief Pittman. Thank you for the opportunity to testify before the committee. On January 6th, our strength, determination, and commitment to the mission of protecting the democratic process was tested. Fortunately, the USCP succeeded in its mission. With the assistance of law enforcement partners like MPD, the United States Capitol Police protected the congressional leadership, members, and the democratic process. On January 6, I was the assistant chief of police of the department's protective and intelligence operations. Leading up to January 6, the department gathered information about the anticipated events of the day and released assessments that analyzed the raw information received from multiple sources. The department issued four assessments about the January 6 event. The final assessment indicated, amongst other things, that militia groups, white supremacists, and other extremist groups would be participating in the January 6 event. These groups plan to be armed, the target of the demonstration would be Congress, and the demonstrators saw this as a last opportunity to overturn the results of the presidential election, and they were desperate. The assessment was widely shared throughout the department, and in response to the assessment, the department made significant changes to its security posture. We increased the size of protection details, deployed counter surveillance agents across DC, increased our CDU platoons, including deploying hard platoons. We deployed SWAT teams, enlarged the security perimeter, and increased exterior and interior patrols to include the subways. Since the 6th, it has been suggested that the department was either ignorant of or ignored critical intelligence that indicated that an attack of the magnitude that we experienced on January 6 would occur. The department was not ignorant of intelligence indicating an attack of the size and scale we encountered on the 6. There was no such intelligence. Although we knew the likelihood for violence by extremists, no credible threat indicated that tens of thousands would attack the U.S. Capitol. Nor did the intelligence received from the FBI or any other law enforcement partner indicate such a threat. Indeed, the Secret Service brought the Vice President to the Capitol that day as they were also unaware of any credible threat of that magnitude. The Department also did not ignore intelligence that we had, which indicated an elevated risk of violence from extremist groups. To the contrary, we heightened our security posture. There is evidence that some of those who stormed the Capitol were organized, but there is also evidence that a large number were everyday Americans who took on a mob mentality because they were angry and desperate. It is the conduct of this latter group that the department was not prepared for. The department did face some operational challenges that we are addressing. For example, the Capitol lockdown was not properly executed. Some of the officers were unsure of when to use lethal force. Our radio communications to officers were not as robust, and we are ensuring that our incident command system protocols are adhered to going forward and re-implementing training in those respective areas. We are addressing those operational challenges but I want to make clear that these measures alone would not have stopped the threat we faced. To stop a mob of tens of thousands requires more than a police force. It requires physical infrastructure or a regiment of soldiers. Since the 6th, we have hardened the complex, and we know that some of those temporary enhancements are not popular. But these are necessary in the short term. The department is beefing up its flow of information and now holds daily calls with its intelligence partners. I would like to thank the committee for their continued support and ensuring the department has what it needs. 
I'd also like to thank the chairman for helping the department to ensure that our officers have the mental wellness resources that they and their families need. As to the USCP officers that proudly serve the congressional community, they fought bravely on January 6th. They are heroes. I am ready to answer your questions. Thank you.